morning students in the previous video we have discussed various types of chemical reactions for example we have discussed when one reactant is there and two or more products are there when there are two reactants and only one product when there are two reactants and two products and when there are two reactants and more than two products now remember children these chemical reactions always follow the law of conservation of mass conservation of mass that means number of atoms of each element present in the reactant is equal to the number of same element number of atoms of same element in the products so law of conservation of mass is neither the mass is created nor it is destroyed it can change only from one form to another form that's what chemical reaction only a new product is formed but the elements remain same the elements remain same to obey law of conservation of mass the chemical equation should be balanced and today we are going to discuss how to balance a chemical equation in your syllabus you have only heat and trial method of balancing what is this heat and trial and trial method of balancing there is no rules and regulations for heat and trial method you are going to hit with a number and try to balance the equation if the equation does not balance with that you are going to try with the other number so this is heat and trial method which element is going to which element is going to balance the first nothing whatever is clearly visible to you you are going to start with that element for example let me go for the first equation this is potassium chlorate is equal to potassium chloride plus oxygen i have the clearly visible is oxygen one side two and the other side three so we are going to start with oxygen only to get oxygen balance we are going to put we are going to make oxygen 6 3 here and 2 here now both side now oxygen is 6 oxygen is 6 now let me balance potassium so two potassium here after that let me balance chlorine and two chlorine are already there so this is equation is balanced and this is the heat and dry method let me go for the next equation your next equation is c6h12 this is xene that is going to when it react with oxygen we are going to get carbon dioxide and water in the first step when we see the equation we just see carbon is not balanced so let me start with the carbon only so 6 carbon 6 carbon here carbon is balanced 12 hydrogen let me make hydrogen 12 hydrogen here now what about oxygen so here we have 12 oxygen plus 6 18 oxygen so let me make it oxygen by putting 9 equation is now balanced equation is now balanced let me go for the next equation the next equation is hydrogen sulfide plus sulfur dioxide and the product is sulfur plus water product is sulfur plus water what are we seeing first of all we are seeing oxygen is not balanced so let's start with the oxygen so to make oxygen i made it two oxygen let me go for hydrogen so we have four hydrogen here hydrogen becoming four last we have two sulfur here and one sulfur here that means three sulfur it can try method so let me go for the long equation how to balance the long equations so for example we have potassium dichromate plus hcl going to get potassium chloride plus chromium chloride plus water plus chlorine how to 
balance the equation. For the long, to balance the long equation, you have to start with the most reactive element. Here in this case, potassium is the most reactive element. So let me start with the potassium. Two potassium, two potassium. Let me go for chromium, two chromium, two chromium. So potassium and chromium are balanced. Further, let me balance oxygen. Seven oxygen, seven oxygen. Let me balance hydrogen. Fourteen hydrogen, fourteen hydrogen. Potassium is balanced, chromium is balanced, oxygen is balanced, hydrogen is balanced. What is left? Chlorine. In this case, we have 14 chlorine here. Let's see how many chlorine we needed here. So, 2 chlorine here, 6 chlorine here, 2 plus 6, 8, 2 plus 6, 8. Now, how many need more? 6 chlorine we need more. So, let me make 6 chlorine here. So, chlorine is balanced. So, this is heat and dry method. Nothing difficult in this method. So, this is uh, the last topic of your chapter. So, the chapter language of chemistry is ended here. And we are going to start with the next chapter, chemical reaction, in the next video. Thank you.